Hey YouTube, so today we are talking about how to start training your dog with toys. Some dogs, you're naturally, they'll be all over the toys and really into them. Other dogs, you're gonna have to grow this. And you might be wondering what's the value in growing it. Well, the more tools you have in your toolkit, the more you have to compete against the environment. The squirrel, the other dog, the neighborhood jogger, you need your tools. So these are just two of the toys that I've selected. They're very, very soft, plaited tugs. They've yeah. got a little bit of fluff through them. Nifty here is a very, very chasey, yep, chasey young Border Collie. Now, because we've got a chasey Border Collie, we're going to pick things that she can move, she can yeah. chase, she can sort of dart and dive after. And we want to see something that we can animate. So I'm going to pop her on the floor and I'm going to <laughs> see if I can move these around. Now, Nifty's quite a cool little puppy because she really does want to, it's, it's in her name. It's mm -hmm. Nifty by name, Nifty by nature. She wants to play straight away and she's a pretty active little dog. However, if she didn't want to play straight away, the sort of thing that I'm might do is I might move it, animate it, shake it, get it in the sort of interactive sort of fast yeah. movement. That's sort of like twitching, animate it, make it. I know you guys are like, this isn't cool. You make it like a little animal. It's mm -hmm. like a little animal. She's not killing a little animal. She's killing a toy. Yeah. But that's why we're playing with toys because it means we can call her away from little critters and animals. So it makes it uh, useful and important. So Urgh. the first tip is actually get that toy moving. Don't hand it to your dog. Don't dust your dog's face with it. Instead, make it this scarce thing that's animated and moving. Second tip is actually relating to the toy itself. Make sure that you're using a toy with a decent amount of length to it. If you're using this really tiny toy, then your dog could actually not want to interact with it because they might feel that's like a high pressure zone to go near your hands and they might not think that's quite so fun. So make sure that your toy is of a decent length. I'd also say when you're playing, try and pick something that is appropriate to your dog. Now, Nifty here thinks that anything fluffy is pretty darn cool. So something fluffy for her is good. I've also got to be aware she's a puppy and she's actually about to go through some teething because she's mm -hmm. at that age. So again, appropriate to your dog and to consider whether it's an appropriate time or not. She will play, but I'll be mindful of it. Another thing I would say is if she's not playing with it, take it away. So if you can do, take it away when they're not playing with it. These are not toys she's going to keep on her own or all the time and I think this is an important thing to consider because if she does have it on her own or all the time it will very quickly lose its sort of novelty value because it's not something that she has a special interaction it's something she has as very very normal if that makes sense yeah next tip <laughs> is an important one and that is that we need to be careful not to add loads of rules to the play early on you know the temptation is you want to be like right now they like it a little bit. Now you must do sit. Or you'd now be you saying, must do down. Leave it. Leave it. <laughs> leave You've got to it. Grow the desire. You know, think about how much your dog loves that squirrel on the walk. The squirrel is not dictating how to be interacted with. The squirrel is animating themselves. They're being scarce. They're being fun. Um, and so that is what we need to embrace when we're thinking about growing this as a tool in the toolkit with our dogs. Another tip I would say, guys, uh, with your dogs is play appropriately to your dog. So mm -hmm. uh, blink for example she's my cocker spaniel she wouldn't want to play this game she'd want to play with a, a tennis ball or a, mm -hmm. a ball on a rope or something bally whereas nifty here she likes the balls a lot but she really likes the tugs so for her something like a tug would be really really cool uh, but also a ball would be cool too look at the individual and decide what's their game yeah. remember we don't all like the same flavors i'm not a massive fan of licorice you know what i'd much prefer chocolate how about you tom what are you not a fan of Tom likes most things, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> he does like most flavors. I'm thinking, no, what, I can't think like, of anything. Do you like capers? Yeah. Mm, how about coriander? Yeah, and no, I like mm. it all, sorry. Licorice? I'm, I'm, Licorice. I'm, I'm nifty of You're the You're nifty, <laughs> nifty. Um, so, so it's important though, isn't it, that you consider actually, and to be honest, it is easier if they're a bit more nifty. Yeah. So if they are a little bit like nifty and they like everything, then that is an easier, um, it is an easier option yeah. because they'll play with everything. However, don't think that Tom and I have dogs that just want to play with everything. I know that Tom with his poodles mm. yeah. and me certainly- You've got to with, grow it and you've got to grow it in a really intentional way and you know that kind of leads on to the final tip and it's the final tip for a reason and that is we need to be aiming for a fun time not a long time so keep it short keep it scarce keep it animated and intense and you will it's grow gone. real life desire it's for toys gone. so guys that was this episode of absolute dogs tv hit subscribe if you haven't already and we will see you real soon <laughs>
like, remember game changers, whatever the dog owning struggle, there's a game for that. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe to our channel. And check out our new 25 day online dog training challenge. Watch the videos, play the games, transform your dog owning struggles. As a loyal YouTube subscriber, you can get a 70% discount through the link in the description below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the number one most transformational dog training podcast on iTunes and Spotify, the Sexier Than a Squirrel podcast. And remember to follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more live teaching, video content and free training using the links in the description.